about two and a half minutes into the game as the shot there blocked in front and saved. As Caitlin Miller, the sophomore goalkeeper for Robert Morse. Oh, it's Katie Page. She gets it up ahead. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper and a great save from Miller. It looked like Morgan Day again looking for goal number two. The tempters will remain about the same through the entirety of the game as Robert Morris will go back to work with Shannon Lynch. Throwing a pass inside. Through the defense and a shot and goal for the Colonials. The two wasted opportunities for the Red Flash to get up ahead on this. Scott shot, and that one will find the back of the cage. And Emily Scott with her first of the afternoon. The Red Flash regain the lead 2-1. to one. Second free position and as many seconds off the restart. Another bouncer. This time it's good. And Fischetti with her first goal of the afternoon. It's 3-1. to one. As they bring it through the middle. All the way she goes. Left-handed shot, yes! Mazur with the goal, and it's 4-1 to one Red Flash. Big scoring team is Robert Morris. About nine goals a game as they go with the top shelf shots and the goal. As it looks like Melanie Gandy was able to stop the scoring streak for the Red Flash. The outside forced out wide. Sayreef shots coming in a goal. And I believe Shannon Lynch actually was the recipient of the pass from Sayreef. And it's 4-3, to three, Red Flash. Off the three-start shot coming. They go top shelf again. And Megan Krause with her first goal of the afternoon. Robert Morris back defensively as Brady splits the double team. And she has it knocked from behind. Below the cage line, they go to the Colonials. Spins back inside. Looking for an angle, and she found one, and she found the back of the net as well, and it gives the Colonials a 5-4 to four lead. That was Shea Moran, who was guilty of the charge there. As they go inside with the pass wide open, and another goal for the Colonials. And Miller and Robert Morris, really lucky that didn't go in as that one will find the back of the cage as Emily Scott will have her second, and that ends the scoring streak for Robert Morris. It's off the restart. Shot, and another goal. Second free position goal of the afternoon, and it's 7-5. Died. She shielded away. Shot on the little winder there from Mahan, and that one is saved from Miller. On the far side, shot coming up high and into the cage. Robert Morris trying to fight their way through. Low bouncer, and that one. Finds the back of the net as well. Coming into this afternoon's game. Off the restart. A bouncer and another goal. Thirty seconds before halftime. You go inside, a shot and a goal. Morgan Day, her second. Position coming up. We'll see if Miller can be as large as she has in previous attempts. And she isn't. A goal for the Red Flash. A goal for Emily Scott. Her third and the Red Flash are within one. Griffin to the left side. Around two defenders and Griffin will score. As Lynch tried to force away inside. She was not allowed, and a touch pass, shot, and a goal. As it looked like Sophia Eureka, who was able to score that. The assist on that last Robert Morris goal. As she has a couple of those, and Robert Morris has another one right there. All the way, two on one. 
Pass inside and a goal from Robert Morris. Quick strike offense from the Colonials. And they almost got a touch shot as it'll be a shot clock violation going against the red flash. Fischetti trying to take advantage. Fischetti saved by Miller. Now they go inside. Scott trying to back her way in. She gives it off. Mayhin a shot. And Mayhin will score near side. And the red flash scored for the first time in this second half. It's Round a defender. Shot coming. And they go top side. And another goal for Robert Morris. It's 14 to 9. Scott. Off the restart, winds and fires. And Scott will have a free position goal. Inside, shot coming and a goal for Megan Krause. Now the red flash with a fresh shot clock will go back to work. Mahan, another shot this time. That one saved by Miller. Miller's had a fine afternoon. So Eureka, perhaps the easiest goal, she'll shoot, and she'll score. A lot of space, shot coming. Goes five hole on her, and it's 17 to 10. Off the restarts, a lot of room, and that again might have been saved by Miller. Three minutes to play, and they do. Up ahead, Gandy, extra pass. And a goal. Have a free position once again. Far side off center. On the restart, shot to bouncer, and a goal. Off the restart, Scott, shot, and the little flutter ball able to get by. And it's 12, 12 to 18. Once again, your final score, 18 to 12. Robert Morris will take this one on the road. As we thank you for tuning in.